Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Empress Aries 88. Just setting my intentions for tonight. Thank you so much for tuning in for this reading. This is a collective reading. And what does that mean? It means any energy, any sign. Energy is genderless. So if I say he, she, don't take it personal. It certainly isn't intentional. These are just 3D terms. All right, so what are we doing tonight? Well, I suppose I need more candles because these candles just ain't cutting it tonight. They are going out, so let's let's do two more candles because, you know, candles ain't enough, baby. Let the candles spirit. it. All right. Excellent. All right, let's get started. And I hope you're having a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening whenever you tuned in. And if this reading, for whatever reason, doesn't resonate, check your placements, my friends. It could just mean it's a reading for somebody else. Don't take it personal. Let's get started. Spirit guides and angels, give me a message for the collective. One that gives them clarity, understanding. so much for your likes, your subscribes. If you're new, welcome. I hope you join my soul tribe. If the energy moves you, like and subscribe. I'd love to have you. All right, let's do it. Spirit, what do we have tonight? Or anyway, this is a timeless reading. So whenever you tune in, you are guided to hear this message. All right, I got a couple of cards here. One of them is Three of Cups Reunion Celebrations. And that is Cups energy is water. So that's Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So somebody wants a reunion with you. Ace of Wands, Fire energy, which is what Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, they want a new beginning with you. So this is somebody from your past. This isn't a new person. This isn't a new love. This is somebody that you're familiar with and you know. Maybe you're not connected, obviously, with this person. You don't talk to this person. Wait a minute. What's up with this? Why is this all coming out like this? Okay. Doing the backwards, sorry. But you're familiar with this person. So maybe you didn't have a deep connection with them. Maybe you had a very deep connection with them, but you're not with them currently. But they want to be with you. So what happens, Spirit? Oh, the tower, of course, the tower. A disruption, a change, and a loss. So they lost you, this person. Hmm. And it was, it was a devastating loss, though. It was a very painful loss between the two of you. It didn't end well. I, I have a feeling that. It ended suddenly and it wasn't it wasn't expected by you or even them to be honest with you insecurity the empress in reverse this person lacked confidence in this connection they lacked confidence in this relationship and that's why it ended they weren't sure about it Yeah. And uh, three of pentacles, pentacles, earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And there was no growth. No motivation either on this person's part. They didn't give to the connection like they should have. All right. We got plenty to say tonight, don't we, spirit? Queen of cups in reverse. Hmm. The person that they did go towards, though, is the Queen of Cups in reverse. Emotionally immature, smothering, disloyal, manipulative, spiteful, a vengeful person. But a person who at first did not show those qualities to this person, though. They showed them afterwards once they thought they got them. The fool, 
which is Aries energy. But they want a new beginning. As it says, this double confirmation, Ace of Wands and the Fool. They want to take that leap of faith toward you. But I don't know. Are they still in that commitment with somebody else, though? That's the thing. I'm not sure. Hang on. It says here, Ten of Pentacles in Reverse, Divorce. So they're ending this commitment with this person. Maybe they're married to this person. Maybe they're in a long-term connection with this person, but they're ending it. There's a lot of disputes in this connection, a lot of disharmony. Yeah. Money issues, fighting over money, um, maybe an unconventional lifestyle that drew this person, your person, to this individual, this Queen of Cups in reverse, this unconventional lifestyle against tradition two of pentacles it was very it was there was instability there was a lot of juggling this person did between you and another person there were a lot of imbalance they were tied up in another connection with this queen of cups but they still were breadcrumbing you during this time period and you didn't know about this person though i don't have a feeling that you knew about this other person they were wearing they didn't they lied to you about it they didn't tell you the truth about this connection in fact they didn't tell you anything about this connection you didn't even know about it um nine of swords swords energy is air energy which is gemini aquarius libra but they want to let go of the stress of this connection and they want to overcome their past because they have a lot of baggage from their past and past hurts i i'm getting the feeling they didn't feel like they deserved you and so they felt like they deserved this queen of cups in reverse it was something they were familiar with and used to this person and them have a connection back and forth connection with each other they're in and out of each other's lives or well your person's in and out of this person's life they accept this person when it comes back you know what i mean they they understand the deal so to speak ten of wands they want to come towards you and tell the truth though they want to unburden themselves of this they're just worried that you're not going to accept them uh seven of swords in reverse they want to confess and come clean and tell you what happened but they're in, they're in a certain type of anxious energy like are you going to accept what they have to say to you maybe time has passed and they're not sure if you're like done with this because look what they did three of swords they broke your heart they want forgiveness though they're looking for forgiveness from you Why? Because you were the type of person that they always wished for. You were the type of person that gave to them selflessly without asking for anything in return. You were the type of person that showed them 100% support even though they didn't return that favor. But that's not the kind of person you are though. It doesn't matter if a person... You're like that. You do, you're selfless in that way. When you give your time, your energy, your love to people. And even though most of the time you're never receiving the same amount of love back from this person. And you didn't. And yet you still continue to pour your love into that cup. And give that person a drink every time they were thirsty, right? And they just didn't appreciate. They didn't appreciate it. Let's face it. And finally, you got the message of that. You got the point of it. I'm not sure if there was harsh words that were said that ended it, but... Five of Pentacles. They want to get out of the cold. And the cold meaning the shadow of your love. You're no longer serving any type of love to this person anymore. You're not in this person's life and they feel it four of swords they're coming to awakening they're really having they're in their dark night the soul right now they're, they're mentally just breaking down everything's falling apart in this person's life and it's because they're coming they're coming to a spiritual awakening king of pentacles this person is a grounded masculine person and successful in their job and they're not a bad person 
but they've been damaged by the way they grew up, the way they've seen their parents dealing with each other, whatever the case may be. King of Cups, they look at you as this mature person. You might have masculine as well. They look at you as balanced and wise and charming. Maybe they display some of these qualities themselves. Either way, they admire you and they look at you as, why are we here? Something fell out before. Lost opportunity. Ace of Pentacles. They feel like this was a mischance. Holy Spirit. Because what? Page of Cups. They were emotionally immature. The lovers, though, they're making a choice, and that choice is you. Nine of Wands, they're going through an, uh, a battle. This is what I'm saying. That it's like a back-and-forth battle. They're going into this dark night of the soul, and they're drained from it. It's not an easy thing to change. It's not an easy thing to recognize you need to change. Page of Swords, but they, they want to communicate with you. There's been a lot of gossip about this connection, and they added to it. There's something where they betrayed you, though. I really feel like they weren't truthful about your connection. They have friends or whatever, women asking about it, but... And they, they lied about it, actually. They lied about it, about what it meant to them. They weren't truthful in what they... How they... How they... Communicated to their friends about you. But it's also showing they're stalking you. They're watching you whether it's your social media whether it's in person i don't know whatever it is I, I don't know your story but they are stalking you they know they know your routine they know where you work or something like that maybe walking by or driving by ten of cups but they want happiness with you though you're their dream come true and they have that comparison with it uh, queen of swords Queen of Cups in reverse, I should say. Uh, bottom of the deck, what you don't see the sun. They want ultimate happiness. The sun is the most yeah, hopeful, hopeful cup. I mean, hopeful cup. Hopeful card in the deck. It's the ultimate fulfillment. It's the ultimate happiness. And that's what they want with you. That's what they see themselves as being with you. All right. Let's see what the energy is for this reading. Spirit. Show me what the energy is between these two people. What's the energy coming from the spirit? What's the energy of their person? And what they're tuning into. Alright, let's get one more shuffle out and see what this person is feeling energetically. card spirit to give us an answer what is the energy of this person currently that, that they're thinking about give me the current energy please spirit you're going to give me the answer. So, like I said to you, drag it out of them. I want to find out the energy. <laughs> Help me out, spirit. Oh, this one, they're very ah, tight-lipped about it, that's for sure. Ah, yeah, attachment. Yeah, makes sense. All right. So that's the current energy of your person. They are attached to someone, which we already knew that, right? It's in the upright. In this upright position, this card reveals that your passage forward is being stopped by strong attachments to old patterns or people from the past. The chain at your wrist is bolted to fear from the past or desperation about the future. Although you wear the mask of pretense or even contentment, you simply can't seem to go forward. 
The stuff that's keeping you stuck could be physical addictions, emotional patterns, or even old relationships. Are you living in fear, addicted to old unhealthy habits, or so desperate about the future that you can't be happy now? If so, the change that binds you could be your own making. This card is telling you that it's time to take the action you need to break out of your chains and move forward to an open, free, healthy, and authentically happy life. It may take some courage and effort to let go, but know that you're capable of doing it until you do the difficult energy will just repeat itself, keeping you stuck. And that's what's happening with your person. They're stuck in this old relationship and these old ways of thinking and this old habits, and they're not breaking free from that. And until they do, they can't come towards you, right? Because they're too stuck in their own situation and that's what's happening. And, you know, you might be thinking an awful lot about this person and you might be like uh, attached as well. And until you break free from that and let this person go, it's never going to move you in any direction but stuck in where you are now. Maybe you keep thinking about the past and why it didn't work out. Maybe you keep thinking if I just wait for this person, don't do it. Don't do it. You're on your own. We're all on our own journey. We all have a lesson to learn in this lifetime. And this is one of them. Codependency could be one of them that needs to be a lesson that we need to learn. We need to let be able to let people go. If they... It's the loving thing to do when you think about it. When you love somebody, what does it say? Let them go. If they come back to you, it was meant to be. If they don't, then it wasn't. It wasn't meant to be. And you have to be able to lovingly give that person the freedom that they're asking to give. I think that in this situation, this person walked away. Or this person had somebody else. And you had no choice but to walk away. But the loving thing to do is to let them deal with their own mess. You cannot save them. They're going through stuff, that's true. But we cannot save a person. They have to be able to save themselves. When it comes to their own choices, their own love life we can give advice all we want this person's completely attached right now and, and not seeing the light at the end of the tunnel they're deep in it and they're making that choice to stay there so do yourself a favor don't stay stuck too let them go let them go and if they're meant to be with you when they're healed and ready then it'll happen that's what spirit's giving advice tonight it's not mine i'm reading the cards this is spirit's message to you, my friend. And is it easy? No, of course it isn't. Nothing in life that's worth anything is easy. But for your own spiritual ascension, for your own growth, you have no choice. You just have no choice. This person isn't ready and they, they need to learn their lessons and they need to... Spirit's putting them through their paces. You cannot save this person. They have to learn their lessons on their own. All right, let's get a message here. Crystal healing. Let's find out what the crystal is tonight. Spirit. And I know that you give and give and give to people, and you just want the opportunity. And you thought you had that with this person that they were going to find and you were going to get somebody to give to you for a change and you wanted to be this person i understand that but we we i'll tell you when people need to heal they don't have anything to give you and what they give you is not what you deserve understand you're going to be able to say no i don't want crumbs i want i don't want an appetizer i want the main entree i want the whole thing you got to look at yourself and say, I deserve that. I don't deserve somebody's crumbs. I don't deserve to be an option. Consolation prize. you got to be the prize, my friend. you got to think enough of yourself to believe that. Achieving self-mastery, inner power, recovering your sense of self. Evidence of progress can seem elusive at times, 
or with new might, spirit appears. It is a sign that you might be underestimating how far you have come. Our minds are conditioned to pay attention to the negative and overlook all that is good in our lives, including the results of our efforts over time. You may not have received a big blue ribbon or parade in your honor, but the conscious universe acknowledges and celebrates all your hard work mastering your fears. Make peace with the part of yourself that tells you that whatever you do, it will never be enough. You are developing mastery, and there will be times when you feel as if your progress is slow and inadequate, but you are called now to acknowledge that you have indeed per persevered, learned much, and not given up. Doing so will help you to stay the course rather than veer off track. Be gentle with yourself as you master the challenges you always seem to overcome somehow. You are getting better at this thing called life, at building healthy relationships and prosperity and at knowing and loving yourself as much as the conscious universe does. Give yourself credit and keep practicing. We are all learning and new might spirit is here to tell you that the conscious universe is watching and is so very proud of you. When it comes to your relationships with others, building trust and intimacy is a process. Practice leads to results. But repetition develops skills. Just as you engage in a dance with a partner, leading and following, stay present in the moment, listen to signals and cues, and being clear about what you need and desire, yes, toes will be stepped on here and there. But it is how you and your partner deal with the inevitable missteps that allows you to develop a closeness that can stand up to even the biggest challenges. Practice, 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 and soon will be second nature to express yourself in relationships in ways that reflect your higher aspirations for how you want to show up for others and what you want to experience. Cultivate love through practice and being loving. Hmm. So you're making progress and the universe is celebrating that and saying, keep going. And in relationships, yes, it is a give and take and we need to learn that. We need to learn balance, balance in relationships. We need to say, I deserve more than what I'm getting. But you're doing that. You're, the universe is saying that you are putting in the effort. You are trying. Keep going, my friend. The race is not over. It's not, it actually is not a race. It's a, it's a marathon. It's not a sprint. We get there through effort, hard work, and time. So let's get an affirmation card. Soul coaching, it's called, to end this wonderful reading. And maybe not all parts of it is wonderful, but the fact that you are loving yourself, that you are healing, no matter how slow that process might be, and that's something to celebrate because that is not an easy thing and I applaud you for it. All right. And this person will eventually heal as well once they recognize that they need to, once they recognize the old patterns that are holding them back. Pray for them. Pray for healing for this person. We, we all pray for this person to heal and to get their mess, get the message and to learn from their mistakes. Because really, collectively, we're all in this together, even if we are individually on our own journeys. We all collectively are going through stuff and we should be supportive as a human race on this journey called life. So with that in mind, let's see what spirit has to say to you tonight. Through the book through the oracle cards of soul coaching oh and that one flew out all these other ones took forever to shuffle but when spirit wants to speak we listen and it's quick quick all right spirit says truth i live my truth amen we all have to live our truth and the truth is we cannot change another person we cannot force them to love us we cannot force them to heal when they're not ready, no matter how hard and hurtful that truth might be. We are all on a journey, and each person has to take their time, and each person has to learn it, sometimes the hard way. We can wish and hope that this person will come to the right conclusion, but we can't force them to. Each person has free will. That's what God gives us, free will. But you can change how you view this person, how you view this connection, how you view yourself. The only person that can change anybody is ourself. Well, I hope this helped on some level, got a little bit more clarification, maybe a little healing. That's what I'm here for.
I thank you so much. I'm honored to be able to give these readings to you. If the spirit moves you, my friends out there in YouTube land, please like and subscribe. And join me for the next video of Empress Aries 88. Be safe. Be blessed.